What's good everyone, welcome back to another video on the YouTube channel. And this video I am going to go over a standard deviation strategy that you guys can use. And before we get into the video, if you guys have not checked out my previous video on standard deviation, I will leave a link to that on the screen right now. I would recommend you guys check that out because I go over everything regarding standard deviation, such as the original consolidation that we are going to go over in this strategy. And in the description down below, I do have a link to my PDF that you can check out and obviously it is free. So I would recommend you guys doing two things before we get into the video, checking out my previous video about standard deviation and looking at my PDF. But any teaching I do on my channel, I do emphasize on understanding what they are. So if you guys don't know what a standard deviation is, how can you use it in your own trading? Well, this is why I'm gonna go over right now. So the standard deviation is a projection tool. So this is where you can measure how far manipulation will occur and you can use it as an area for targeting price. When you are measuring your price swings, you will be using one and zero. This is where you will be measuring the price swings that you're looking to trade and using them for a measure of manipulation or how far price can extend. Minus two and minus 2.5 is a perfect area for take profit. So at these levels, this is where you can look to take profit and minus four and minus 4.5, this is areas for reversals. But this is just for your understanding, minus four and minus 4.5. This is where you will measure reversals or retracements when you are targeting take profit areas. And we're going to go into the original consolidation, but keep in mind that we are going to be using minus three to 3.5. And keep in mind, we will be using levels at this area. And minus two is perfect for take profit. On the screen right now, this is my settings for the standard deviation on the Fibonacci tool in trading view. So if you guys want to copy this into your own trading, you can create your own templates and have this as a template on your trading view. Okay, so moving away from that, you guys understand what a standard deviation is and what they are used for projections. And you also know which levels to be looking for, for what reason. For this strategy, you want to know where a consolidation is. Over here, I've drawn out a consolidation and price moves away. And then we come into an area of a reversal. So this whole price swing will be crucial to us because if we are bullish, we are looking to trade the market maker buy model of the curve. So this is the sell side, this is the buy side. As you guys know, this is all I trade. I just trade MMXM models. As we are bullish, why is our concern to the left side of the curve? This is because we will be utilizing this consolidation. We want to measure out from the consolidation high to the consolidation low. This is where we will be looking for a reversal. And as you guys can see, when we measured from the original consolidation, from the high to the low, this is where we got a reversal. So minus three to minus 3.5. As I spoke about before, from minus two to minus three, this is an ideal area that we will be looking for. And if we get to minus four, minus 4.5, this is where we can anticipate a reversal even more. I want you guys to understand you can't just rely on this on its own. You will need to know you will need price taking some kind of liquidity. So if we trade into minus three and minus 3.5 and we take a level of sell side liquidity, this is, two, this is two elements that are overlapping that can support the trade idea for a reversal. So once we have this and we trade into this candle that forms here, this is where a breaker will be. And we are going to be utilizing from this swing to this high, we are going to be utilizing from the low of this swing that made the breaker. This is where we will be taking profit. So minus two and minus 2.5 easy areas to take profit. This is where we can look to take partials. And when our liquidity pool matches up in minus four and minus 4.5, this is where we can expect a reversal. However, for this strategy, you guys can just focus on minus two and minus 2.5. Just to go over that again, you are utilizing the original consolidation. We are using that for a measure of a reversal that is going to take place. This is known as a smart money reversal. And when we are bullish, you are looking to trade. You are looking to trade the buy side of the curve and you're utilizing the breaker to measure out a standard deviation. And this is where you will be taking logical take profit and partials. And you can see at minus one and minus 1.5, this is levels that you will see minor retracements in the fractal. 
So this is another area that you can look to take partials. However, if you want to take full profit, I would recommend taking it minus two or minus 2.5. And the exact same thing is done when we are bearish. So we have a consolidation like this, and this is known as the original consolidation. Price moves away and we start trading higher into an area of a reversal. You want to measure out from the consolidation low to the consolidation high and you can see that we trade into the minus 4 and minus 4.5. Draw this out in time, you can see that price trades into it and we trade away. When we have this, as I said before, you can't just rely on the standard deviation projection. When we are bearish, you want to see buy side liquidity being taken. So this is order pairing right now. So we take buy side liquidity. And where can we offset it? Into the consolidation again, into sell stops. So we absorb the buy side liquidity right here. And we have the minus 4 and 4.5 projections matching up with it. And if we have a higher time frame PD array, this is what makes this whole thing much more high probability. So you have three things that you can match together that you can time a reversal pretty much. So you have a higher time frame PD array, you have buy side liquidity being taken and the original consolidation measurements match up with the buy side liquidity and the higher time frame PD array. All you need to do now is wait for price to trade back into the breaker and we can look to sell short and target the original consolidation again. And we just take the projection measure it out and you can see minus two this is where you can take profit and you can see that we are utilizing the breaker and we can take profit at minus two and minus 2.5 and then if you want to leave a runner you can leave a runner for the original consolidation but i would recommend you guys take profit at minus two and minus 2.5 or at least a partial the main component to this is the measurement of the original consolidation to time a reversal or know where a reversal is going to happen and you need to know where a liquidity pool rests and a higher time frame PD array. If you don't have a higher time frame PD array you can look for a liquidity pool. Big figure numbers that end in 0, 0 they are good for targets and numbers that end in 50 and 20s. This is because large institutions like to place orders at round figure numbers. And if you look back in time, especially at zero zero numbers, you will see that price usually runs around 30 pips past these big figure numbers. But once you've identified where the reversal is likely to happen, the next area to look at is the breaker. And this is where we do our measurement and target minus two and 2.5. Now let's go over some chart examples of this right now. Here I have an example of GBP JPY. Before I get into the example section of this video, I would recommend if you guys haven't already watched my previous video, if you watch that and then come back to this video, it will make much more sense. And I have tried to make this as simple as possible and giving you guys as much value as possible as well. I draw your attention to this consolidation right here. But how can we identify a consolidation? A consolidation is when price is not moving away from 50% or equilibrium. So we have this swing low right here and we have this swing high. Price is not looking to trade above the swing high or below the swing low. Once we trade away from the swing low, this whole area that was accumulated, this is now our consolidation. In my videos, I like to teach you guys every little detail in price action because most educators don't know the meaning behind the smallest of concepts. And if you don't know the meaning behind something, you can't teach it to anyone else. Moving away from that, this is where we will measure our reversal. So I am going to be using this candle's body to this candle's body low and you can see that price trades into the minus 1.5 to minus 2. That's not convincing enough for me to say yes, price is likely to reverse. This is why we look at this fractal right here. This area is important to us because this is where fair value gaps are made. This is an inefficiency in price action. This is 50% of this whole range. This is where no sell side was being offered. So this was whole buy side. If we draw out the fair value gap made at equilibrium of this price swing, you can see how price closes right inside of it and we close right at minus 1.5 and we trade away. So this is where my brain will be like, yes, this is where a reversal is likely to occur. And what is the next step that we do? So this is where the breaker formed from this low to this high to this lower low. This is our bullish breaker from this candle low to this candle's high. We are using the wick right now. And this is where we can lock to take profit. 
we have minus 2 and minus 1.5 at the original consolidation. This is the areas that we are going to look to target. However, you can take partials at minus 1.5 and minus 1. And let's see how this plays out. So you can see the price starts to move higher. And at minus 1, this is where we have a retracement. So this is where you can look to take partials. And you can see that price is consolidating. You will often find at minus 1 and minus 1.5, this is where price is the slowest. And when we start getting higher into like minus 3, this is where price moves the fastest. This is just sideways price action until we get into minus 2. So this is where you can take full profit. And you can see that we have cleared out the original consolidation. So if you wanted to leave a runner right now, you could target minus 4 and minus 3.5 into this another area of a consolidation. However, minus 2, minus 2.5, this is areas that I do recommend because you can see as soon as we trade into it, we have a retracement lower into fair value. This strategy is perfect for day trading. And I'm just going to show you guys an example of when we are bearish. So I have another example of GBP JPY. So this will be a bearish example. As you guys can clearly see that this is our consolidation. And this is where we will be measuring. So from this low to this high, we are looking from minus 1.5 to minus 3.5 for a reversal, which we have right here. And price breaks down and trades lower I'm using this candles low to this candles high for the consolidation i'm using this candles low and this candles high for the consolidation because this is where we had a false break and price traded higher so this is not inside of the consolidation this whole area is and from this candles body to this candles low this is where we will be measuring our breaker from this high to this low to this higher high this is our bearish breaker and we will be expecting price to hold and we can target minus two Let's see how this plays out you can see that we are trading inside of this fair value gap and this breaker block and price starts to break down lower we trade into this area of fair value and we trade away and we will be taking profit at minus two so i will draw that out in time this is the area that we will be looking to take profit and you can see we trade into it and you can see that we trade just into minus 2.5 and price is starting to consolidate this was a video going over a standard deviation strategy that you guys can use. I did try and give you as much information as possible. If you guys have not watched my previous video, I would recommend you do so. And if you have made it this far into the video, I want you guys to know I will be doing weekly live streams on my YouTube channel every Sunday where you guys can ask me questions or we can go over the market. And I will have surprise guests such as Matt and T Trades. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you guys found it insightful. As always, thanks for watching.